Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life the Mundane. Welcome back to my channel. So if you are anything like me, you are always looking for tips and tricks, strategies to get you in and out of the kitchen as quickly as possible. Maybe it's because you're like me and you don't particularly love cooking. Maybe you do love cooking, but you're just busy and you're looking for ways to save time and money and double your efforts and keep life simple. If that is what you were looking for, then today's video is gonna be perfect for you because today we're gonna to be talking about batch cooking. And unlike freezer cooking, it can really be an easy to implement tool that will really help you out. So let's jump into it and let's get started. Okay, so before I jump into it, I know I said it would be easier than freezer cooking. I thought it would be worth clarifying the difference between freezer cooking and batch cooking, at least in my opinion and in my research. Freezer cooking is more the concept that at a separate time, you are putting together complete meals, whether they are already cooked and you put them in the freezer and then just reheat, or whether you put them all together so that they can easily be dumped into the crock pot or into... Um, into the oven to be cooked. This is not that per se, although there can be aspects of that. Batch cooking is not about setting aside that separate time to do complete meals, but rather about preparing either meals and doubling the recipe to save the other, or about what more of what we're gonna be talking about today is about doing one step to prepare an ingredient several times over again to multiply your efforts and make life a little bit easier. I'm a homeschool mom and I have a family of eight. So cooking is definitely a big deal in our family. There's a lot of time to spend in the kitchen and anything I can do to cut down on that time is gonna help. So for us, one big thing that we can do is preparing our proteins and our meat ahead of time to make life simpler. And this is really, really simple. Honestly, it is so simple, I almost considered not including it in the video, but I do know that some people don't know about this. So I thought it was worth sharing and hopefully it can help someone. But it is to simply prepare those meals or those meats ahead of time freeze them and then you can throw them into any recipe you want. So here you'll see I went and bought at Sam's Club a big package of chicken and I just take it as soon as I get home from the store and I put it straight into the crock pot on low for about four to six hours and just season it with salt and pepper. That way it can go with any recipe that I want to include and after it is done I just take a hand mixer in, shred up that chicken very quickly and efficiently and bag it up and freeze it. This is huge, guys, because all I have to do is grab out that chicken out of the freezer, put it in the microwave to defrost, and I can throw it into rice, I can throw it into chicken and noodles, I can throw it into a chicken pot pie, so many options, any of that, and it is all ready to go, and you would not believe the amount of time that'll save you. You can do the same thing with hamburger meat or ground sausage, um, and we do this all the time. I'll buy meat in bulk because we are a big family, cook it all up and freeze it and ready to go. So when I wanna do spaghetti or tacos or anything like that, I can grab it. Now you might ask, why don't I just go ahead and season it for the specific recipe? And there is nothing wrong with that. I have totally done that in years past and gone ahead and seasoned up my taco meat and then frozen it as taco meat. The only challenge to that for me was that then that meat is definitively taco meat. I know that sounds sort of like a duh, but if I needed something for dinner and I didn't have the other things to go with tacos, I was kind of out of luck. And so I prefer to freeze that meat in a uh, without any seasonings, without any extra, so that it can be used for anything that I want it to be used for. It takes honestly the same amount of effort pretty much to cook three to five to 10 pounds of hamburger as it does to cook one. So really you're adding just maybe a smidge more time, no extra effort or tools or dishes, and you get to multiply those efforts, which is what batch cooking is all about. So then how can I do this outside of meats? That is awesome to have proteins and stuff like that, but what else do you do this kind of system for? And for us, that is a lot of breakfast meals. So I will make up a batch of muffins and I will usually double or triple the batch of muffins, make it up and then freeze the other for quick, easy breakfasts. I will also do this with breakfast burritos and we kind of make a family assembly line out of it. I wait till all these marks down their eggs really, really cheap and I will go in and buy, you know, the max. Usually it's three to six dozen. I'll go in and buy that amount and we will just make up huge quantities of breakfast burritos and freeze them. That is the recipe for Money Saving Mom from Crystal Payne and I will drop all that 
down in the links below so you guys can check out her recipe but it is super simple and very kid friendly it's protein packed and easy so a lot of times that's what our breakfasts are on sunday mornings and, they, and all the kids can get involved in preparing it. You can kind of see we do an assembly line. And that's been really, really neat. Um, so we do that and prep all that, put it in the freezer. We also do this with something we like to call banana ice cream. A friend of mine recently shared this with us, and we've been trying it out the past several, about a month now, and we love it. But it's just sliced frozen bananas that are blended. So the ideal here is that you get the ripened bananas, the ones that are a lot more brown, because they are sweeter, and you slice them up. So I bring them home, and again, sort of assembly line, we pull them all, we pull off all the peels, and we slice them all up, and we put them in the freezer, bag them up, and they're ready to go. All you have to do is pull them out of the freezer, dump it into the blender. You don't have to add milk or any other ingredients. Blend it all up and it will come out sort of the consistency of ice cream. And if you use an ice cream scoop, a few sprinkles on the top to sell it to your kids, they will love it for either a snack or for a quick breakfast. You could also add peanut butter, um, protein powder, maybe a little chocolate syrup on top, whatever you wanna do as far as adding other flavoring or variations to it, but it's a very, very healthy, easy way to do it. So um, anyways, just a lot of fun things you can do like that. So we do our proteins, we do our breakfast, and then we do use a few select meals that I will double up as is. Um, we like to do pulled pork, and I will buy a big pork butt um, and put an applewood rub seasoning just from Walmart. You could definitely make your own, um, but again, I'm not a big cook, so I buy that, and I rub that on there, and I let it cook overnight, and by morning, it is falling apart. It is so easy to pull it apart, and I have one set set out for dinner that we'll reheat for dinner and another that will go in the freezer. We do this with spaghetti a lot. I will um, make double or triple batches of spaghetti sauce and we'll also use that. And part of the reason I do that versus like what I was talking about with the taco stuff is that with spaghetti sauce, it can be used for spaghetti. It can be used for pizza. It can be used in, you know, most pasta dishes. So that is a nice one to have already prepped and ready to go. But again, I might only do a few bags of that versus just having a lot of straight meat. Thank Erica Lucas um, from Erica Lucas's channel um, for putting on this collaboration. This is a collaboration with several different YouTube mamas that I love so much and I really enjoy watching. So you should definitely check out their playlist down below to find out more about different batch cooking recipes that you can prepare at home to make your life a little bit easier, especially around this holiday season. Um, and just getting back into the swing of things after the holidays. So I'd love for you guys to go check out their videos and let them know that Katie at Life and Mundane sent you. So you can see all those yummy recipes and enjoy those, I hope. Let me know if there is anything you guys love to do for batch cooking and what are some of your favorite recipes because I'm always looking for new ideas. I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. This is exactly what we talk about on this channel. We talk about strategies and systems for simplifying your life in homeschooling, home management, parenting, and how you can do that in a way that will free up your time so you can enjoy the little moments with your kids because those are the ones that matter. I hope you guys will join us back here soon. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and share. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.